Hey everyone. Ah. Hey everyone. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. <laughs> um, how are you this morning? Yay, it's March. March in like a lion, out like a lamb. I hope that's true. I am so ready for the spring. Good morning. Hi, Joe. Good morning to you. Hi, Shelly. How are you? Um, it's, it's kind of bleh out today, but that's okay. We can have a lot of fun. I hope that the lighting is, um, is okay. You know, you got to make the best of every single day, uh, even when there it's raining out. Um, and so, uh, we just press on, right? We press on. So, um, as I mentioned yesterday, um, in at the brunch edition, um, today we're going to be doing, we're going to do more cards this week. And today we're doing these they look complicated. They really aren't um, what I don't really have a name for them. Some people call them pinwheel cards. Um, and here is an example of one that we'll do. I have five of them. I'm not sure that we're going to get to be able to make all five of them. I won't take a lot of time to talk and I'll just kind of jump right in. And also remember today is Mystery Material Monday. So um, I don't want to forget that. So um, I'm going to show you how to do this card, which I've altered um, and to incorporate something, uh, one of these products that we get or we've received, um, this is premium vinyl. It, I think it's removable premium vinyl. Not really sure. Yeah, it is removable. And um, I had these two packs uh, from Natalie Milan. This one is called Orchard Sampler. And this one's called June Berry Sampler. And I thought I've been keeping them because, oh my gosh, I love this June Berry. And um, I've been keeping them hoping that something will come up. And I don't know about you guys, but um, when I was a kid, you know, we used to cover our books with paper bags and um, do things like that to keep the books from falling apart or whatever. And you could also doodle on them. And I thought this would be um this would be something like that like you can cover almost like contact paper but then I started thinking if I kept waiting for the right thing or on a box or something like that um, and maybe I will use it for that but I thought let's incorporate it into the projects for um today I only was able to incorporate it into one um but I think going forward I'll probably um, try it with others and I'll show you the results. But, um, so these are, these are, and hello everyone. I see people saying, um, we are dating ourselves. <laughs> I feel, I feel so old today, but, um, <laughs> that's that's okay that's okay you know it's okay to get old um and let's see uh okay so the other thing I want to do that I didn't I wasn't able to do yesterday was I wanted to acknowledge the people that have helped me um by becoming patrons through Patreon um I actually since I started this little experiment I've received 20 people who have um who have signed up and for various amounts. And I wanted to thank those people, um, for, uh, for supporting me. And, um, you know how I love just to have little goals. I don't have any goals with Patreon, but maybe I'll, I'll set some, but right now I've got 20 wonderful friends who are supporting me and I want to name those people. Um, also I wanted to tell you who won the, cobalt blue cutie which it was over yesterday and um and so I did pick a winner before I came on only because I would have done it live but um I don't know how to do it live I only know how to do it on my phone so I couldn't show you that because I because I um I I 
I take my video on my phone. Hi, Leah. Um, so <laughs> the bug, and I guess I won't hold you in suspense any longer. So it's been a couple of a couple of weeks, but I cannot believe this. But literally, I did this by picking the name out of all of the um, all of the drawings, and I cannot believe this. But the winner is Bren Jones. Um, now, if I'm not mistaken, Bren, you also won um, another. Uh, Another one of these cuties. Maybe you're just cutie lucky. I don't know. Um, yeah, so there, this is um, called a, co this is a cobalt blue. They, there are cuties, and these are like kind of the official mascots of, um, of the, let me just show you, of the cricket world. This is a cobalt blue, which is sort of rare. I think that that came out in 2019, very, very short time that it was out. And you can collect these and people often do. And I know Bren does. And I cannot believe it because Bren, I think Bren won, did she win the sunflower one, Bren? Um, I don't remember what the color was, but I had this one for a very long time and had not given it away sunflower. So what happens is I collect them, um, but often I will get more than one. And so I decide I don't need more than one cutie. So I put them up for, um, I put them up for a, like a little prize to uh, for people to win. So if you're not Bren, first of all, congratulations, Bren. But if you're not B Bren, there will be another one um, when my mystery box comes in. I was fortunate to get um, a, another mystery box. Uh, it was very short supply and it's kind of a sore subject, so I don't want to talk about it too much. But when my mystery box comes in, I am going to give away the extra white. This is the uh, white as snow um, cutie. And when it comes in, I will do another raffle for that. And we'll probably do it through raffle copter. And, um, and as I get duplicates, I will... I will share them with you because I know people really do love them. Um, and so that's what, they don't do anything. They're supposed to just be inspiration, okay? Um, so let's get started on these cards, and then I'll talk about my Patreon later. But let's get started. I want to say good morning real quick, but I want to get get jumping in here. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, Bren is lucky. She is lucky. Um, okay, so so these are, I don't know what they're called. Now, some of our, of our audience are calling them pinwheel cards, and that seems to make sense. And there's uh, five of them, and I'm going to show you, hopefully be able to show you how to put them all together. Um, I think I have cut out all of these, but there is this one, which is the watermelon. I call that the fruit salad one. <laughs> and then we've got this one, which I've cut out in a couple of different um, th themes. And then there's the pinwheel, which is around here somewhere. And then there's uh, this one that's, oh, that's the flower one. The frog one, which everybody seems to really like, and I do too, actually is probably the easiest of them all and less like the others. Remember that one of these things is just like the other. Okay. So, um, we're going to, let's see, um, find them first. Okay. So where to find them? I'm going to save this and I am going to start new because we want to start fresh just like you would be. Now I will give you the file for with all that that file we just had. Um, I or I just had on my screen. I will give it to you so you don't have to go through all of the um, all of the steps to make it larger and cut it out and everything. You could just click through, save it to your design space and, um, and then cut from there. But I do want to show you where to find them and it would be in images. And now we're going to be going to 
under all images. See here, it says all images. So this is the image search engine. There's like 183, it just grows, 183,000 images. Um, and when you go and click on the top left-hand side, all images, this is actually image search engine. So that's browse, this is search. And we're gonna look at these different categories. You'll see there's highlighted themes, people, occasions, trending, shapes. We're gonna go under highlighted categories categories under image sets. And um, these cards, believe it or not, are from the two uh, image sets that we had before. Um, Uh-oh, something going wrong? My son, oh, oh. Sorry to hear that, Sandra. Um, so we'll have to do the frog because that was Sandra's favorite her son's favorite. Um, okay, so the crazy cool cards and the crazy cute cards, which we did last week. We did cascade cards um, and we did trifold cards. And as we were talking about them, I said, boy, I could probably do every single card in these cartridges, <laughs> in both of these cartridges. And you know what? If we um, continue on in this streak this week, we probably will have uh, will do all of them. There's some Z fold cards. There's some I call them box um, box top cards, which are like four folds. Um, so we're going to do those, and then there are some surprise inside cards um, that includes this picnic basket. Um, so I want to do uh, these in sort of groups. Um, and but when we go into one of this, this is the crazy cool cards, you will see here's the first one that I happened upon. It's called, I think it's called like a paisley, paisley flower or something. Here's our frog one. Here's another one of these that's like a flower. So there's three here under crazy cool cards. And then if you go back and go to crazy cute cards, you will find, let me see if I can find them. There's the one that um, is the flower, very clearly a flower. And I think there's another one. I just can't see it. Maybe there is not. Where's the fruit one? Did I miss the fruit one on the other? I think I missed the fruit one. Did I? I think I missed the fruit one. Where is it? Okay, so watermelon. Here we go. So we're going to pull all of these in because I want to show you how they come in and how I um, and how I size them. But for the most part, I'm just going to spend some time on um, how to put them together because they can be a little tricky, it, uh, the first one, you know, um, and then and then once you kind of get it, you get it. You know, and so here they are, just all of them individually, and they come in all various sizes. So here is, let's do the Paisley one because that was the first one that I did. So, um, if you want to make a, an envelope with this, it comes with an envelope, but you guys know I don't generally do envelopes. So I'm going to ungroup this and immediately get rid of this envelope because I don't, I definitely don't like two piece envelopes. Okay. So this consists of, I'm going to move everything over. So this one consists of um, this flower type shape. I'm going to move this over this flower shape piece. That's the main piece. And then um, you see here that those are just like little things to um, to decorate it with. So this is the main piece. There's a lot of scoring. Um, if you have a maker and the scoring wheel, definitely I would re recommend using it. But if you only have an explore with the stylus, use that. Unfortunately, um, and maybe Terry can figure something out, but um, on the, on the, what's the word, on the joy, um, everything but that main piece can be cut out on the joy. So I don't know if it's something that somebody wants to figure out how to cut this main piece, but it has all of this, um, all of these uh scoring. And I'm going to show you how the score, but it basically makes kind of like a star. It's a hexagon, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's six, got six sides. And then it has like um, a 
star. Those little pieces are what how we fold them in, and then the petals end up turning in on themselves. Um, and so, and then these are all just decorations. This heart part here can become the area where you put your message. And if you wanted to, you could even do something in vinyl that you could um, that you could uh, color. Uh, I'm sorry, vinyl that you could put a sentiment in there, maybe like a happy birthday or yay, it's spring or whatever the case may be. So, and then you cut these all out. So I cut this out in, um, first I cut it out in paper and then I cut it out with the, um, with the, I'm having trouble with words today. Um, I cut it out with, thank you, yes, here it is, with the removable from Natalie Milan called, what's it called, Juneberry Sampler? No, that's not the Juneberry. That's the Orchard Sampler, okay? And so, um, and then, so I cut that out and I used all the three, because in the samples you get three different colors. So I cut out these pieces with the, um, removable. And then I cut out these pieces on both sides in the, uh, that's pattern two, that's pattern three. And I put it all together. And so you can for sure do this. And, um, and all you have to do is swap out instead of paper. For the most part, these are paper projects. So, and I'm using, um, 12 by 12 paper from, actually, I, I'm using, when I show you, most of my 12 by 12 paper um, is either from Michael's, um, from plain sets, or also I've been getting um, 12 by 12 from 12 by 12 cardstock shop, which you can find at 12, 12x12cardstock.shop. Um, and um, that's only because I generally try to use Cricut cardstock, but boy, they haven't been in stock for a really long time. So, um, so what we're going to do here is as far as sizing goes, um, you can do what I always do, which is kind of like to resize them. I take all the pieces and sort of pile them together as a group. Oops. And they I group them and then you can size them any way you like. Now I like these big to start with because um they with all the folds they sort of get kind of small. So I believe I I size these alls at 10.5 inches um and that uh led to led to a card that looks this like this. I think if you go small a lot smaller, the card would be so small. And I, I just wanted, I wanted something that, um, people could figure out. And also it's not so difficult to fold either. So I did resize all of these in, uh, in design space at, um, like 11, I think it's 11 and a half. This one here also is at 11 and a half. This one has the watermelon design. And then when you open it up, has all this fruit, has pears and the lemon um, and the apple. I got a little confused on this one. Somebody posted that they did it and I got a little confused because um, I cut all the lemons out and it was supposed to be orange lemon, orange lemon, but you guys, you'll do better than I will. Okay. So let me, um, this is where you get those cards and this is how you, you um, size them. But um, and then you just proceed to cut them out. So I won't um, take a lot of time cutting out because the putting together of these cards is, I think, the most challenging bit. Um, so I want to show you how to do it. So let's first work on the watermelon one because it is uh, very popular and it's so striking because the, the color is um, black the base color is black and it really makes, there's the black and it really makes the, um, it makes the card really stand out. And the thing about using the black is, um, is it, the design uses the black for things like here, the watermelon seeds, 
and also here um, for the seeds inside with the apple and the seeds here on the pears. But also, it's just a really striking card um, and I love the black. So don't opt out of using black on this card because it really is necessary for um, putting it together. Now, as I've mentioned, these cards are are scored and they're hexagon. You'll see the hexagon on the back when you start putting it together. And then when you open it up, um, next to the hexagon are these uh, triangles. And then beyond these triangles, you'll have this flap that also has a fold. So there is a lot of folding involved. It's mostly, for this one, it's it's all in this piece. The other ones, there's folding involved in other ones. Now, I realize it's a little hard to see the um, the folds here, but you're gonna have to trust me for it. Um, the, the folds are here, and what I'm doing is I'm just going along as with my folds as a guide and taking the each of those petals, right? and making sure I fold them all. Now you will start to see um, that there is our hex and there's the star and these are the petals. So I'm going to, because I like a really, uh, a really movable card, I'm going to also fold this way. Now, um, just because I wanna show you how generally this works, these these particular things will get folded. Now, um, what you want to do for this is you want to just sort of pinch the sides like this. And so here we go. We're pinching, okay? But we're not putting the fold here. We want to keep that plain, okay? So we're pinching here on these folds and that's where we'll use this one is a little bit hard but it is exactly in half um and again follow where your uh where your stylus or your scoring wheel has indicated okay so now here is the actual card and the way that it actually closes is it starts with this triangle okay or a triangle of the thing and the triangles are going to be what gets folded down so as you start moving this around you just have to push in the triangles all right and there are six of them this is why I fold um, so carefully and then this is basically the um, the style now we just have to decorate it all right, so um, so here we go. So remember, we've got to fold all these around to create that hex and then the star and then make sure you fold the uh, petals, but not the inside here. You really don't need that. So let's start to decorate it. Um, on the outside is where you're going to see the watermelons, but um, interestingly, you don't need to put it, put the watermelon pieces um, on every petal. You do it every other petal. I want to make sure I have all the pieces here. So the watermelon petals consist of six pieces, red and green. So here's the green. And then you cut out the red like this. And this is the way it goes. And I realize this is not super authentic because it probably should be white there, but that's okay. You know, it's it still looks pretty awesome. And then you're going to take and you're going to put it here every other um, petal. This is on the back, okay? So we've turned this around on the back and let's just place them so you can kind of see what's going to happen um, here. Oops, wrong way. Okay. So you're going to kind of see what's going on. Now you notice that I'm putting it on the petal, the same side of the petal. So I'm putting it on the right side of that curve and not the left hand side all the way around. And we're going to continue with that all the way around. I'm going to get my glue in a second. But I found for myself, it was easier to sort of visualize um, how these work. 
when I put the pieces in the area that they needed to go. And then, so we're just going to go and start um, gluing the pieces to the back. Um, and you can do it either, you can glue right on to your piece. It sort of centers like that. Um, or you can glue the two pieces together and then put them on the, on the card. It doesn't really matter. But what you want to do is make sure that you're centering over that, um, those holes so that you can see the black, which becomes the seeds of the watermelon. So just kind of turn and do the same thing. Again, I'm just going to, uh, not again, but for the first time, I'm just going to cut the red and then I'm going to put on the green like this. And then, then I place this piece like this. Now, um, if you are fairly new and you've not heard me talk about glue, um, because what, what's really funny to me is um, that all the people who come to Cricut not knowing anything about glue. And I've always said to, to the folks at Cricut that they really should create their own glue or go into uh, some sort of... Uh, some sort of relationship with a glue manufacturer, but they never hear me. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so over the years, and I've been crafting with the Cricut for um, nine years, almost 10 years. And, um, oops, yeah, okay. And um, I have tried every kind of glue, including the ones that you get, you know, at Michael's and other craft stores. This glue. Um, I just recently found through uh, Dawn, one of our watchers, Dawn Walsh, and uh, tried it out after I had been uh, using this glue called Art Glitter Glue. Now, I like both of these equally, but I tend to, in the wintertime, just uh, use this one because it, it doesn't freeze. And well, I should say it when it freezes, nothing happens to the glue. So, um, so you can, uh, like be assured that if you live in a cold climate, like I do, if you order this like online, um, it won't freeze and then become no good to you. Now glue is, it can be kind of expensive, but, um, but this glue is, is actually pretty reasonable. I think they have like a $30, um, pack kit or something they call it I don't know what they call it a bundle um and so for 30 bucks you get like a big bear shaped uh glue bottle full of glue and um then you get these precision tips which I really love and this applicator bottle so if you are in the need for you are in the hunt for glue um I do have links on my videos on how, where to buy them and you can buy them either through Amazon or you can buy them directly through Barely Art and then the Art Glitter Glue also through Amazon though um, not in stock a lot of times during the winter so um, and there's almost no difference it's very slight difference between the two um, and I think I like the Barely Art applicator better because it clogs less frequently. So that all being said, you do not need to use these glues in order to have really good cards. You just simply need to be very careful about placement of your glue and the quantity of glue you put on. You notice I am putting on just a teeny tiny bit and now I've done the back of the card, okay? And now I'm gonna flip it over and here is the middle of the card. Now let's use this as our reference we're going to put the apple um, in the middle and then we're going to put all the lemon slices and then the pears. Um, and so let's start off with the apple, which I've already glued these two pieces together. You notice that there's holes here so that it will show up here on the black and then you'll see those black things are the seeds. So we're going to put this on there and we're going to kind of center it here is like the center and here and just plop it in there and try not to do too much glue 
all right? Then let's work our way out. So the next piece is um, these pears, and they actually have really tiny little um, cuts. That's what I love about Cricut, see this? There are two little cuts in there. And then you've got this one, and this is a very tiny cut. So you're going to put, this is the flesh part of the pear, and there is the green part of the pear. And when you put it down, you'll see through, and you'll see the, um, you'll see the, uh, the seeds come out and gives it a real authenticity to it. Gives a real authenticity to it. That's a tough word. Okay. So here we go. Now you could, if you wanted to, which I think I might do is to sort of set this aside now that I've done those pieces and sort of start building these pieces and then glue them all in. So to do the lemon, um, it has a white, white pith the back and then it's sort of a light yellow and then this part that looks really citrusy now I will tell you I did run into problems with this part of the um of the card because um, of the coloring on the card. I believe that half of these are supposed to be lemons and the other half oranges, but I cut them out all lemons because I was getting very confused. So um, just note that, um, that if you wanna have oranges on the other side, you can certainly do that. Um, just cut out orange. Uh, citrus slices here and then I don't know you maybe cut out a, like a peach or something for the orange um, pieces and then I, I'll show you how they get put on there so here are all our little orange slices I'm just taking the white and then the sort of it's kind of like a very beige beige yellow um, and creating all these little slices so there's three pieces to it right and one two three and then one two three and there are for mine there are, I think there are 16 so it's a lot of gluing I'm not going to glue the entire thing for you just because I don't want to take up too much of our valuable time together um is but you will get the idea i'll put a couple on so you'll get the idea and then so we have also the pairs right so let me just glue a couple of these so you'll see what i mean so i'm taking this part that is like the citrus part what what crazy okay see ya um and putting it on the part that's more like the flesh of the fruit and so line it up and there's like a little rim around here and then flip this over put a little bit of glue here and then this goes there's no there's no overlap here so then that ends up being your lemon piece so let me do a couple of them just so you can kind of see how everything gets placed Okay, um, let's see. Then we'll do a couple of pairs. So, all right, so here are the fruit slices, citrus slices, and then we have a pear that I did. Let me do one or two more pears so you can see the pears are two pieces. There's the green and then there's the beige that's kind of like the flesh color. And obviously you can color this any way you like but um I wanted to go for sort of authenticity here I'm gonna poke out these little pieces so that the um, seeds show through okay so there are our pieces and we would continue to glue them so that's what you would do here and then let me show you about placement so we have our um so we have our apple slice in the middle and then the um and you might have to kind of like lift it up to see where this is going to go but on the triangles you are going to put the pairs okay so there's a triangle right here that a pair is going to go in it perfectly fit okay so there's where our triangles go 
and then to uh, to each side of the pair, we're going to put our slices. Now, again, remember, this could also be orange. You could have an orange and the lemon slices. So if you do that, one goes here as lemon, the other one goes in orange, and you're going to follow this all the way around so that you have a complete, like, um, a complete pattern. So don't just kind of willy-nilly. If you do happen to do the orange part, don't just sort of, you know, put all the lemon together. Oh, you can you know what? You can do whatever you want. <laughs> do it whatever way you want. If you want grapefruit in there, do grapefruit. I don't know. Um, and so that's okay. So let me just put the pears in and then I'm going to show you the fold. Now, again, remember we folded it really well. So putting it together the first time it folds, you do have to train the paper, but not terribly hard once you get the hang of it. Okay. So pretend we've put everything Thing in there um, and then we are going to start with these triangles I put this one in you know I put it in wrong sorry guys okay so we're going to start with the trials and we're going to make use our fingers and put the triangle in first and then working around you see what I'm doing I'm working from this is the inside this is the back so I'm working around pressing here and then um, you'll see that the watermelons are starting to fan and I'm just all I'm doing is pressing that triangle okay the last one um, is a little bit difficult and then you are done that is your card. On the back, you will see the hexagon, and certainly this is where you can put a, a sentiment, and if you wanted to, you could cut out like a white hexagon so you can see that sentiment. There's always that too. And then when somebody opens this, they just tug ever so gently onto it, and they come with this really pretty flowery type um, of a card. Okay, so the other two that I, um, actually three that I want to show you, and I'm not sure again if I'm going to get to show you all of them, but um, the next one up is this one, and it is a uh, paisley, which I love paisley, I just let me get all of the parts here, so it's paisley. Um, and nope, this doesn't belong here. What's this doing here? Does it belong here? No, I don't think so. Okay. So, um, Paisley, uh, is one of my favorites, right? And I thought, well, since it's Paisley and Paisley's all like pinks and greens and stuff, um, I, I first cut it out in this pink, um, and green with the green base and white. And when you open it up, it looks like this. And, um, you actually have like the hexagon in here, which is where you would put your sentiment. And, um, then all of these that show the real, show the star. And then these little paisley bits go all around here. And then on this side, you see also every other has these pieces. So um, I believe, I'm not sure if I cut this out. So I started getting all like fancy and I said, oh, well, why don't we use our mystery material? And that's what I did. So I cut out these pieces the pieces that are decorative um except for the middle all this other stuff man's in my way um so uh these decorative pieces i decided to cut out um with using the removable vinyl but what i did differently on this one is i actually um, made it reversible by using a different color in that sample um, on there. So let me show you what that looks like. So when you open it up, instead of having the um, every other here, I, um, I have two. So I cut them all out, the base pieces I cut in white, and then I cut from, from that sampler uh, two different patterns okay so there's three patterns there's this one which is kind of a bluish one and then there's this and this so there's the three and that's our mystery material and that's how i used it for this case so i took this um beautiful but 
plain collared one and changed it up to make this a little more fancy because don't we all like to gild the lily a little bit it's the same concept by the way it's a hexagon and then you have the stars that are sort of the triangles that make the stars and then you have these petals and so when you're going to close it you're just going to put your finger on those uh, triangles but here you see there's this color and that color so it depending on what you want so go ahead and put your finger on all those triangles and this side comes up or you can twist it like this and that side comes up so easy um and fun right who would not want to receive this kind of a card so uh, let me show you how this goes together we're going to start with this piece and i mm, i know i have more pieces cut out um for this but if not then well we'll just deal yeah i can't find the other pieces which hmm probably find it after i'm done with the show okay so here's our little flower thing and i'm going to show you that i have to uh bend here or a score here and then i just twist once and score twist or move over one score and just keep working around the card like this okay and then you, you I always have to do one more yep <laughs> um then you'll start to see there's your hex there's your star and those are your petals okay so flip it over this is the wrong side of the paper it's not textured that's what makes it the wrong side and then just redo this so you can very clearly see on here what you're looking at. So there's the hex and there are your pieces that you're going to put your um, for your star. Now this one also, you have to pinch the petals or the, like the, the outward pieces. So pinch all the way through. Just It's really just a fold at the half way mark so if this is easier to do it on a flat surface do that um but if not you can just do it with the pinching thing that i did pinch like this mm -mm. <laughs> i'm doing it wrong as i say it okay so pinch together like this all right and then also flip it over and do the same thing just you know, it's just to make your nice, clean fold areas, fold lines, okay? But we don't want to um, fold in the middle, okay? So there we go. So the first piece that goes on here is the inside piece with the little paisleys, and that goes on here, and it's perfectly, um, perfectly scored so that it's just going to pop in there and there's a little edge all around it there we go just like that okay and then as far as the pieces of the triangle um i did it two different ways because i wasn't really sure i decided this one i took out the paisley because i wanted to see more of the um more of the pattern so this is that removable vinyl and just going to take it and put it on the triangles just using the the lines where the triangles are to line up where this is going or these pieces are going where these pieces are going. Now I, I sort of had a thought that I probably should have cut this out in white after I started doing this. Um, and perhaps I that's what I was thinking because there are pieces that you cut out. Um, it might be what I was thinking. I did this on Saturday and so um, I might I might just have said, oh, we'll cut this, cut the main piece out in white and you'll see this better, but then didn't get to, to figure this out. So when you are going to substitute uh, colors or like different materials, you have to think of those things where you're like, oh, okay, I'm going to cut this part out in, um, 
and paper and this part out and you have to make sure that it all matches. So in this case, even though there were these cutouts on the paisley, I decided that I took them out and I just sort of contoured those out so I could see more of the pattern. And then for the outside, now we're working on the inside, right? So the for the inside, we have these little paisley things and I think I cut them in two different no, nope, maybe I didn't. I think I'm missing some things. But anyway, so these little paisley things will go on here. And these work out really great because they're sticky, um, but not terribly sticky that you could pull them up. Um, and this is a great way to use some of that removable vinyl we have, which we all seem to have collected a few of them. Now I will say about removable vinyl is that it's not going to fall off, but it's more um, of a not as permanent um, vinyl as, uh, as you might be used to using and I kind of like working with paper on it okay so then um this would go all around but there's another color which mm -hmm, I'm having trouble finding where it's cut out oh well all right so anyway then we're going to flip it over and the other side gets here are the two different colors so there's this purple one and then there is this sort of yellowy one and so we would take each of those flipped over and we would start to put them here now be careful because the paisley should always be going in the same direction so when you're cutting them out um make sure that you're cutting out in the same direction i don't know if that makes any sense uh to you but it did to me when i when i cut this all right, so here we go. Oops, I'm having a hard time. And thankfully, I'm using removable vinyl. All right, so here I'm just going to go along, and I'm going to use every other petal and put my vinyl on there. And right, so you guys are going to do it better than me. Um, so... I'm just rushing so I can get through all of these, but I would be awful, um, awful concerned about the placement, which is there is just like this cutout and mm, has the paisley there. Okay. So then once we get this all done, I, we're going to fold it again. So this one was pretty easy and it was easy to, to, uh, swap out swap out yeah i'm having trouble with my words today for some reason um and so here we go this is the outside piece there you go so now we have this and no uh, i think we'd put these pieces on this side as well but in the other if i can ever find it okay so then we're going to fold it up and remember we're just going to fold using this triangle here and we're just going to work our way around and in this particular case we want to make sure that the pattern side is showing so I'm moving actually to the left because the way I put it on there and there it are those um those triangles right and I'm just sort of moving and there is the card there it is isn't that cool I just think these are so much fun to do and they sort of surprise you um, and they're they're sort of interactive now if you want to do it like I did here and put on the opposite side um, the other color then you can turn it into a two-way card in that it will go this way or you can turn it so that it goes that way. I kind of like that. So that's fun. Um, and that's how you do that one. Uh, <laughs> and I'm just sort of like move over everything. Um, and let's do the next one, which is, uh, which is the flower one. No, you know what? I want to do the I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. I'm going to do the frog one because it's easier than the flower. 
Um, and I want to just show you in case you're thinking, oh, this is too much for me. The frog one has fewer folds. So let us do that one. All right. So the frog one has, um, it opens up. It To me, it looks like a lily pad, but it starts off as this heart shape with this frog underneath, I mean, on the outside. And then you open it up and it's certainly less folds, but these two hearts are, are scored in half. So they're going to fold in like this. And that's how it looks. And that's how you would send it all folded up like that. And then when somebody gets it, they're going to open it up and they'll see they've got two frogs, this one and this one. I'm thinking this one is the female because it has eyelashes um, and it says kiss me. And this is very simple as far as coloring goes. It only required three colors. I did the base in this sort of, I don't know. Uh, limey kind of green but not terribly limey green and then I used more of like a spring green for this and then um and then black for the um for the frogs I also they also have eyes which I cut out in um you can't really see them but I cut out in white so we can put them on the eyes as well okay so this one here easy peasy um you've got your pieces and I'm going to just put them all over here there's our base let's use this one and we are going to follow the score lines in this case it's going to fold in half like this okay and I'm just looking for the score line so I show you the correct way. And then you'll see that there are score lines. Let me see, do I have a pencil around here so I can kind of show you where they go? Right here, there's going to be a score line, but not here. And right here, and the same on the bottom. So there are actually going to be two more folds, right, like this and like, I wanna make sure I do this right, like this. So basically, you're going to have these two sides have the crease here, and then these top and bottom hearts do not. And that way, when you're folding it, which you're going to take those and make sure you fold it the other way, just to make it easy to fold. Okay, so that way what you're going to do here is these are going to be your sides, the ones that fold, and they're going to fold in and down upon each other, and then you have the heart, okay? So again, it's shaped kind of like, I think, like a lily pad or a shamrock, I suppose, um, and it's only ha it only has three scores, so it's got the halfway mark, and then it's got on these side, they're half you know, half of the heart and these sides a full heart. So then you can go ahead and start decorating it. And you have this piece here, which is plain. That's going to go on the bottom so that you can write your little sentiment. And this part here that's kiss me. That goes there. And then you have your left, your frog on the left. These are just the green pieces, right? And where's my frog for the right? Boy, I'm just, I'm not doing great today. There's just too many pieces around here. Where are my green, my other frog? Mm. Okay, don't know, don't care. I know I cut them out. Okay, so then on the black here, this is where this frog goes. Okay, and... Uh, really? Oh, here they are. Phew, phew, phew. Okay. Thank you. All right. And then here is our opposite frog, right? Oh, what a mess. I'm so sorry, guys. I have to remind myself I'm not a professional. I should need to be more professional. Ugh. Okay. And the, there is... Nope, wrong, wrong frog. There is my other frog. Okay, I think, like I said, I mean, this here looks to me like a little crown. 
don't know if you can see that, but it looks like a little crown. But then I'm like, why are there two here? And I think those are the eyelashes. So I think that's female and male. And then the pieces that also go up here are these heart cutouts, just like this. All right, and then it's just a matter of gluing these pieces onto your card. I'll show you how to do the back of the card in a sec. So I'm gluing these pieces right on my card. So let's start with the big piece and put that glue on there. This one, if you want to get started on these and you're a little afraid, this is probably the easiest of all of the ones that I'm going to give you. Um, and so you'll kind of get your confidence up <laughs> as you're doing it. So, um, so here is the piece. And you can change the colors, obviously. Um, but I like these greens, and I thought they were kind of fun. It might have been... I don't know. Yeah, I like it. Or if you had maybe some, I think this is perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Um, and maybe you can look for an image that says I'm Irish or something. Because you know how the um, Irish on St. Patrick's Day always say, kiss me, I'm Irish. Um, and so I thought that would be fun too. And then we'll take and put our uh, frogs in. There are... Uh, little pieces where the where the tongue sticks or is coming out with the mouth of the frog. So make sure you get a little tiny bit of glue on there because you don't want um, it to sort of push up when you're folding it. And let me check. I gotta unclog my glue here. Okay. Um, all right. So there is this side, and I'm gonna put these here. Okay, you'll do a very a very complete job. I'm just showing you how like the mechanics of it work so you can understand when you're putting it together and you'll put different little doodads and whatnots around. Um if you know, if you want. And just make sure, especially on that tongue or the mouth part, that you're getting some glue on there. Right? And then the two black pieces go in here. They fit, like, right there. So you get two almost identical um, frogs. A little bit of glue on these pieces so they don't stick up. And they go right there. Now I need a little tiny bit more glue over here, I think. Okay. All right. Now they have eyes. Like I said, we cut them out in uh, vinyl. And I, we can put that on there too. Okay. All right. So there um, is the inside of the card. Again, this place is for either you can put another sentiment or something like that if you want, or um, that's where you can just handwrite your sentiment. It's going to fold like this. These two sides fold in half, and then it becomes a, a heart. So we're going to take this piece now which has the frog cut out and we're going to place it here and then there's actually this piece that goes right on here although it didn't cut out let me just cut out these little spots right and that's where the um, eyes would go on here so let's put some glue on the back here and we'll be done with this this one definitely by far was the easiest one and then um the hardest one is yet to come 
because I think conceptually I just had a hard time with this card, but it's actually a simple, simple concept and don't get frightened by it, but it's that flower one. Okay, so here is, there's just a lot of pieces to that one. Okay, so here's our little frog. So we've done the fruit and the kispy frogs and the paisley one. Trying to think. Oh, there's another one we're probably not going to get to because it's already tan and it has like these little bubble pieces like this, polka dot pieces. We're not going to get to that one. Okay, so that's the frog. I'll show you pictures of it later after I get off. All right. And so the last one is this one, which is the flower one. Now, when I was first making it, um, I was like, I, I thought because the coloring on there, um, it looked to me like a sunflower. And so um, I was like, well, I don't, sunflowers are more fall. So let's make it sort of spring-like. So I used all these spring colors in here. Um, and I think this is a perfect place for like a vinyl sentiment. And when I started doing it, I think these cutouts sort of got me off track, but it's the same theory. So here's what it looks like inside and here's what it looks like on the other side. So the petals, I'm sorry, the, the leaves are glued on and they're only half glued on. So you see when, when you start to fold it, which again, same sort of thing, it's the folds um, and they're on, we're folding on those Mm -mm -mm. There we go. And then these petals come around and form the flower. And then here are leaves, right? It just conceptually had a hard time doing it. Um, and so I'm just going to show you how to do it. I did cut this out also in a number of colors because I thought, well, maybe it will look better as a sunflower. So I cut it out in the sunflower after the fact. But somebody mentioned it looked like a plumeria. I thought it looked like a frangipani. Um, and again, it's the same thing. On the bottom, you have your hex and um, you open it up and there are the decorations on the edges here. So don't get thrown off by these cutouts. And then there's our star. And then on the inside, this is supposed to be, I suppose, the middle of the flower. And that's what I thought maybe um, it looked a little more like a sunflower. So these are all actually scored here and they're supposed to kind of sit closed like this. Um, and then they sort of, you can push them open. There. Okay. So same thing with this. It has the base and we're going to um, start to fold. Remember we're folding so that like the two, the two top as you're, as you're doing it, when you're holding it or working with it, the two top are going to fold this way. And then you're going to turn it once and fold this way. All right. And just keep turning because you have to do it, I think it's six times because it's a hexagon. And once you do that, you'll start to see there's your hexagon interior and there's your star. Flip it over and, and definitely fold it again like this. Okay. And you are going to need to, after you do that, we're going to have to come back and pinch our little sides here, you'll see that there are score marks there. So we're just gonna pinch those at the halfway point, okay? There we go. All right, I think I did that all. Then we can start building the flower. So in this particular one, we have these three pieces that sort of get consecutively more you know, smaller and more um, elaborate. So this becomes the middle piece. And these all have um, score all along. Just be careful because it's kind of a little dainty, but you're gonna just score them like this. And then they they sit within, within and within each other, I suppose. They stack 
There we go. So there goes that one and this one. Like this. Okay, just like that. And then you have these that go here. Right? And then these pieces, now they're gonna go here and they're gonna cover up this. But what is going to happen there is it's going to show through on the other side. So here these all go like this. See that? And then um, the last piece, it are the last pieces are these uh leaves. So I'm just going to glue a couple of these pieces on just so you can see um, what it looks like when you start doing the fold. Um, this is the part that's going to show on the other side. So let me just glue those in. But you're just going to glue all those pieces in just like this. And like that. Okay, so these pieces you also glue in and then you flip it over and you see how it's showing on the other side where those, that's going to give that petal definition. So when you have that on the other side, you're going to take the leaves and each leaf has like um, a flatter side and there's the leaf and you're going to actually put it, just let me show you here, you're going to put it so that this flat side is flush with this um, triangle and that's how you know how to how to put it in you're only going to glue half of it you want to keep the back the bottom half um, loose or unglued just like that and let me see if I can find some more and so again you're just gonna put it in on the triangle part like this and you'd go work your way around let me just do a few more so you can see the effect to this because it's really clever I think um, and so clever and speaking of clever tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow we're going to be doing I'm trying to remember which one we're going to be doing but I think we're going to do the um the their square very similar to this but a little bit easier um to conceptualize because they kind of like fold like you would fold a cardboard box but they're really adorable so I don't know where my last piece is so you oh here it is I was going to say you're going to have to just imagine that I'm putting this on, again, glue on half of the leaf. All right. And then when you're going to fold this, you can turn it this way if you want. And we're going to just fold at the triangle again, put that triangle in, and then... This is assuming that the leaves are really on there good. Mine might fall off. And we're starting to see the flower come up. Just like this. You see that? And the flower, the petals are coming up. It might get a little hairy there at the end, but that's okay. And then you just make sure that the leaves, now I didn't put the, those pieces in there, but the leaves are um, fanned all around. And then there are your leaves on the outside. Isn't that awesome? Just so clever. And then when you open it up, and again, we um, didn't decorate all of the inside, but that's what it would look. Let me get my original. That's what it would look like on the inside. So 
clever, right? There is yet another one, but I am cognizant of the fact that um, that we have exceeded our normal time, and I want to um, have you guys uh, not get overwhelmed with all of this. So if, if you want to... Um, the other one, it goes together very similarly. So remember, this is what we did. These are, this is the Paisley one, which I also did in, uh, where is it? Got so much stuff here. I also did it in the uh, material for today, which is uh, patterned. Natalie Milan pattern removable vinyl. This is the pinwheel. And then we have the fruit salad one or the watermelon one. And again, just like that. This one here, which is sunflower flower of some kind with leaves like that. And then the easiest of all, the frog. Just like that. Um, you're still you're still here. Um, okay, so uh, so let me just finish up by saying that I wanted to thank all of my brand new Patreons. I really do appreciate it, and just tell you a little bit about Patreon. Patreon is a um, way for people to support people like me who um, who are really just kind of teachers or artists or whatever, and are sharing their stuff with people um, and. And so I um, will get any of, it's like a monthly pledge. Um, and so I wanted to thank uh, the people to that have pledged this month. This is, was my first month doing it. And I thank you ever so much. Um, and it's a monthly thing, $5 at the minimum to give me. Um, so if you think this is worth you know, these tutorials are worth $5 a month, then, um, then feel free to sign up. However, I am not going to ever make my, um, my projects or my, or my cricket chat time, um, a, you know, have to pay to play kind of thing. So um, thank you to uh, Anna Maria Davis was very generous. Thank you. Regina Lowry, Deitra McCamey, Mc 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 it might be McCamey, it's in my handwriting. Bren, of course, Bren Jones, Sandra Wade, Lori Hockett, Cassie Mordecai, Lori Hewer, Lynn Collins, Vicki Lackney, I might be pronouncing that wrong, Daryl Thornton, Christine Vate, Aladra Curry, and Shirley Bain, and then also Becky Mills, Rosalind Bennett, Bonnie Fisher, Terry Smith, Eileen Ramsparker, and Lou, just Lou. I'm assuming that that is Lou, uh, my friend Lou on here. So, um, so that is it for today. Now, when I'm done with the video, I, oh, how do you do that? So to sign up for Patreon, it's P-A-T-R-E-O-N. And I am listed under, uh, Miss Rita to the Rescue. You, I also put a link in the description of the video. So if you're watching this on the replay, you can, you can just look for that link in the description. And then you would, um, you just simply click through that and you pledge whatever you want to pledge a month. The minimum is $5. And of course they take a little cut out of it, but that's fine. Um, and, uh, and, and so each month they'll charge whatever you use as your payment, like your credit card, they charge $5. And, um, and then, um, and then it sort of crowdfunds it, its way up so that it makes it, uh, it sort of decide it's trying to, um, encourage artists or people who are crafty or whatever, um, to sort of support you without having to buy any products. So musicians have it and, um, what else? Musicians and artists. And, um, it's a way to support somebody without having to actually buy their products. So there's that. All right. So that's it for today. Again, when I'm done with the video, um, you sign up like, um, it's every month, I guess that's how they do it. So it's like a subscription. 
Sorry, people ask me questions. No, <laughs> I want to answer them. It's like a subscription where you sign up and each month at the top of the month, so today, um, so if you signed up, for instance, today, I think uh, today through the end of this month, you won't actually be charged until next month. Um, and then you can all, um, they do have an annual, I'm new to this, so I really don't know, but um they they each month they're trying to encourage people to continue to um support their local artists and musicians like i said musicians and things like that and they can sell merchandise but i really don't have merchandise to sell um but i also want to mention thank you so much for those people who um give uh the the stars um so giving stars is also another option on facebook I'm just learning all of these things. I don't know all of them very well, but um, but I'm just, you know, keep learning and growing and um, trying to give you all this wonderful content. So tomorrow, as I mentioned, we're going to be doing square fold or box. I call them box top folds. And I did have one that I was going to show you, but I can't find. Oh, here it is. Um, this is one of the ones that we have to do it. Um, and, um, and so what, I, the reason why I call it a box top fold is because it has, um, these little pieces and, you know, when you close a box, that's how you do it. You put the flaps there. And so this one here is more like a fall one and it has these pretty, uh, pretty leaves. And then you open it up and here is, um, a tree and there are I think three possibly four of these so I'm going to show you those tomorrow I feel like I cut I bit off a little more than I could chew with these today so if anybody wants to see this um, again or more I will be happy to show you that as well and then we have the rest of the week planned we have so many things for the rest of the week um, we're just going to be doing so many different things Things. I'm looking for my, um, cause I'm, you know, I don't, I, I have memory issues. So, um, let's see what else we're going to do. We're going to do those box files. We're going to do Z fold cards. We're going to do step cards. Um, we're also going to do interactive cards with have like a surprise inside or that open up and there's something to do inside of them. Um, and we still have yet to do uh, gatefold cards and, as I mentioned, step cards. So there's tons to do. If you're just getting into paper, there's so much to learn about paper and um, it, there's just so much fun. There's a lot of people that have done these cards, but they do them without the Cricut. And I just find it's so much easier to learn this with the cricket because you have the patterns and me you have me okay um pull tab cards we could do pull tab cards there's theater cards there's there are so many card styles that you guys are going to be like what i never knew all these card styles exist um there's gatefold cascade oh there's so many um pop-up box cards, pop-up cards. So we have a lot to cover and I will, you know, this is our card extravaganza. Obviously we're going to continue to do different kinds of cards, but this is the extravaganza and I hope that you can stay or tune in for those projects. Thanks for coming today and I will see you again tomorrow with a whole new set of, um, of projects to work on. Thanks everybody. I really appreciate it. And I do, uh, I love this. This is so much fun. I do so appreciate you tuning in every morning. Thank you. Goodbye. Take care. We might need three weeks. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do Easter crafts coming up. All right. Take care, everyone. Thanks, Aledra.